Hey y'all, welcome back to Unknown Image. I am your Oracle Jewel of the Dawn, back with another reading. And we will now be looking into the situation of the Scorpios. So Scorpios, um, it looks like at the base of the reading in reality, we have the fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel card in the reverse. So it's either you or someone else isn't communicating something that that throat chakra needs to be cleared and aligned something needs to be communicated whether it's on your part or the part of your counterpart the recent past and current energies we have the angel of strength card in the reverse at the head of the read what's on the mind or what you should know is the community card and in the future energies we have the journey card in the reverse so it's looking to me like Scorpio either you or your partner aren't telling each other something and it feels like there was a weak moment this card, based on these two cards over here, are giving me strong uh, third-party vibes. So maybe in a, a moment of weakness, you know, they stepped out with a third party. And it looks like for the future energies, something's not going to be moving forward. Someone's not going to be taking a journey I don't know whether it's like to leave with the third party or to continue this relationship. But let's take a look further and see. So from the Romance Angel deck, we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So yeah, in a moment of weakness, someone, you know, got flirty with the third party. Then the next card we have from the M Romance Angel deck is a separation card. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you guys may not have separated from one another yet. Or you guys are in separation. But that's the issue right there. From the Abundance deck we have cooperation instead of competition. It says, what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperation, with cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. Then it says, focus on your priority. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them time and give them the time and attention they need, excuse me, they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So yeah, What's not being communicated to you is in a moment of weakness, someone extended themselves to a third party. Um, separation is either going on now or will be happening soon. When that does happen, you need to focus on yourself because you shouldn't have to compete in a relationship. Like the card says, what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. So if someone took your partner from you, a third party took your part, your partner or you know, your partner gave themselves to this third party. They they weren't yours to begin with, to be honest. Let's go ahead and go to the clarifying cards because it's not much to talk about with that. Oh, I need to look at the purpose card as well. The purpose card says, share your voice, come out of the cage, persecution or expression. 
So, yeah. Um, Scorpio, if this is you, whether you cheated or whether you just were flirting with somebody or whatever, you may need to go ahead and give that information up, you know, with this throat chakra card being here. And someone may be expressing that to you. But let's clarify and see what's going on. So let's go here to the recent past and current energies. Angel of Strength in Reverse is being clarified with the High Priestess card and the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, that's something that you didn't know was going on. You didn't know somebody was juggling with you and someone else. This may be their weakness or this other person that they were juggling may be their weakness. And the high priestess card talks about, you know, although, you know, she holds the secrets or whatever, it also talks about intuition. So you may need to strengthen up your intuition or listen to it, but your intuition may not be strong. Because it's like you kind of you kind of had an idea, like you kind of knew. Let's look at the reality of the situation. Fifth chakra archangel Gabriel card is being clarified with the seven of pentacles and the devil card in the reverse. What I'm getting from this is. For one, if you look over, if you look over the relationship or certain certain things and situations that may have occurred between you and the counterpart, it's like the devil's in the details. If you look, if you look over these details, it'll be like, oh, okay. I see, I see what happened here. And it's like also if someone hasn't communicated something with you, for some people this may not have happened yet, but for some people this has. This whole scenario here with the cheating or the flirting with other people, what have you. But it's like somebody hasn't communicated because they haven't actually done it yet, like they're considering it. They're considering stepping out. They're considering, it's like they haven't crossed the line yet. But there, it may be like inappropriate conversation, something that you wouldn't appreciate. So there are, there is like communication going on for some people. But this person hasn't, they haven't said anything about it yet because it may not be anything to confess at this moment. They may not have done it, but they are seriously considering it. So it's just right now on the flirting level. They may not have, you know, and especially with the food card in reverse being up here clarifying the community card. It's like they may not have taken that step out the door just yet, but they're thinking about it. And what they're, I think what the problem is, is because stress, anxiety, on the home front. There may be some type of stress going on at home that would make that's making them consider you know you know either leaving the relationship or stepping out and, and cheating. But I'm kind of getting the energy here for some of you. Some of you guys, it's like they haven't done that just yet. Like they're juggling with the idea because it's like they it's they're weak. Like with that devil card in reverse and the angel of strength card in the reverse, it's like they kind of got a promiscuous, flirtatious player type of nature about them, and it's like it's kind of stressing them out because they kind of want to step out. But then again, they kind of don't because they don't want to bring like toxicity into the relationship. And that's just for some people like they don't they don't. Yeah, like it's like they're thinking about it. Like if I do this, 
then that will be the result. And what's that? Toxicity in the, in the relationship, stress in the relationship, the actual juggling, you know, of two people. So they're just currently juggling with the idea, thinking about it. If somebody has already cheated, though, it's like, I kind of think they kind of, I, I kind of get a feeling with the seven of pentacles here. It's kind of like they regret it because it's like, okay, it's a, it was a weakness, you know, and that devil card in the reverse being here and the fool card in the reverse being here, it's like. Okay, so now that I've done the do, what next? And then they know that they've caused this type they've caused this type of energy in the relationship here, which led to separation. And then clarifying the journey card in the reverse, we have the King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So if this has already happened, it's like they're kind of regretting it and looking at, you know. I can't, I'm hearing like, damn, why did I do that? But they're still not being completely honest either. In the future. Like I don't think they're going to be completely honest. So if they did fully cheat and cross the line. And you you may know or you may not know. If, if you do know. It's something that they're still not being completely honest about. And that's probably why... There's no forward movement with the journey card in the reverse. Somebody may have a sexual addiction, like a sex addiction. And that's part of the reason why they, you know, step out. And then after the deed is done, it's kind of like, damn, what did I do? Because I'm kind of getting the feeling like whoever they stepped out with, it's like they don't want to start over with that person. So it's kind of like regret, like, damn, what did I do? And now I'm about to separate from who I'm really with. If it's happened already, if they're considering it, it's like, it's like a, it's a, it's burdening on their mind because they know what impact it's going to have on a relationship. And they know what the results of their actions are going to be. So it's like, I don't even kind of want to go down that road because I'm going to have to lie to cover my tracks if I do this. Like, it's like some people have already done it, though. I want to pull another card because I want to know why this Ace of Pentacles is here. It's kind of like I'm kind of getting the energy um from this ace of pentacles it's like you know they may have cheated on you or whatever and y'all broke up or what have you and they lied or whatever but that was actually a blessing in disguise why is the ace of pentacles here father mother god just one card please for clarity why is the ace of pentacles here it's clarifying the journey card in the reverse and the king of swords in the reverse for scorpio May 2020.
Yeah. Um, it may have been a blessing because of conflict. Like the situation was dramatic with this community card being up here. It may have been more than a third party. Like I said, sex addiction. What's yours is yours. And if, I mean, I'm sorry. And no one can take it from you. So, you know, this person really wasn't yours anyway because they were a flirt. And it was drama. The situation was dramatic. So if they've done this already, um, the blessing may be that you find out. With the King of Swords in the reverse, finding out, you know, because swords are like mental energy. So it may you may find out that someone actually communicated to you, but they were lying to you. You may just find out that they were lying. You may find out that they were communicating. And it doesn't move forward because it's drama. It's it's fighting, competition, arguing, conflict. And I'm getting from this card to share your voice card. Don't suffer in silence. Like, let me unpack this for a second. I'm, I'm being told to clarify this purpose card. Father, Mother, God, why is this share your voice card here? What is it that you would have the Scorpios to know in regards to share your voice? Come out of the cage, cave, persecution, expression. I'm hearing the words blessing in disguise. Like this may be a blessing in disguise. Like they say, uh, rejection is God's protection. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we got the five of cups in the reverse. And with these cards here, it's like clarifying the share your voice. I'm kind of feeling like you thought this situation, you know, made you happy. Y'all may have been soulmates or whatever. Y'all may have been together for a long time. But if you look deeply into the situation and reflect on it, like take an inventory of the situation, if you reflect on it, it wasn't it wasn't even a real offer of love. This person wasn't yours. And and not to say they weren't your soulmate, but it's like, you know, they're not even really offering me anything. So what am I sad about? So it's kind of like you need to focus on yourself. Alrighty, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you guys. Um... I'm... Ugh, it's just... Sorry, I don't like that reading. But yeah, um, so I'm sending you guys out some love. <laughs> Kisses mwah, and blessings. 
and I'll get with y'all the next time you heard. Peace. Yeah, yeah.